A few weeks ago, I was sent two notebooks to check out, and while there was no expectation around any kind of formal review video, I was so dang impressed with them that I wanted to show you more. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Constellation collection from Typhosi to see if those notebooks are a good fit for you. I have two of the colorways here, so one being the Libra design and the other one being the Sagittarius. Each of the designs are based on one of the star signs, so we have a set of 12 in the collection with a variety of colors and icon designs. Each of those is on a linen cover, and when I saw that they had this beautiful purple one, I knew that this is the one that I had to have but I'm also a Libra, so I also had to have this one. Thankfully, the folks over at Typhosi were generous enough to send me two. But before we get into the review, obviously I have my own preferences when it comes to notebooks. That isn't really the focus for today's video though. We're really thinking about what are the features and are they gonna be a good fit for the way you like to journal? The notebooks came packaged in a decorative box, which I have since gotten rid of, and then individually wrapped with their own belly band, which gives us a little bit of information about the notebook. For instance, the fact that we have 160 GSM paper, the fact that the paper is specifically designed to prevent ghosting and bleeding, and the A5 notebook features dot grid pages with an inner pocket and the pages are numbered. In terms of the notebook dimensions, we have 14.7 centimeters across by 20.8 centimeters down, and the spine is approximately 2.8 centimeters deep. The notebooks both have gold gilded edges with a really pretty constellation design down the side. The pages sit comfortably away from the side of the notebook, so they're well protected. And you can see that the notebooks do also offer a pen loop. And while it does stretch to accommodate a Papermate Inkjoy pen, for a pen that width, I'd probably just go with using the pen clip and attach it that way. You can see that that pen loop is located closer to the top rather than the middle of the notebook, and it's attached inside the back cover. Each notebook has an elastic closure with a decent amount of stretch, and the notebook comes with the elastic closure over the front of the notebook. So putting that over the back cover, we can see it's already a little bit stretched out to accommodate that. This means that if you're not really a fan of the elastic, you can put it into the back and it will sit there fairly comfortably, but it won't be as tight as it would be if it was never stretched over the front cover before. In the back though, we do have a back pocket, and that one is 12.9 centimeters deep by 19.9 centimeters tall. Turning to the middle of the journal, we do indeed have two bookmarks. You can see that the ribbon color is fairly similar to the cover color, just a slightly lighter variation of this. The bookmarks in both journals though are long enough to actually stick out the end of the notebook, so they are suitable to be used as bookmarks. The last structural feature we like to look at is how easily the journal lies flat. This is pretty important for me when it comes to my journal because it means that I can easily access the innermost edges of the page or the parts of the page that are closest to the spine. These notebooks do lay flat, but because they are bigger notebooks with more pages, they do require a little bit of training. This could also be done when you first get the notebook and train the pages down or what's effectively called breaking in the notebook. Don't worry, you don't actually break your notebook to do this. You just hold your journal up with the spine sitting on the desk and then section by section, pull the pages from either side down to meet the desk. As you do this, you just train the pages along the spine edge. And it means that once you get to the center, your page is gonna lie flat a lot more easily. You can see from this top angle though, that the pages do lie much more flat than a similar size book would. Looking now at layout features though, and flipping into the inside cover for this, you can see that the very inside cover has the Typhosi logo in this very nice shiny gold. And then on the right hand page, we have the nameplate page saying this book belongs to and three lines to write in your name or contact details. These are the only real specialty pages in the notebook though, because after this, we are right on into the dot grid. As per a lot of notebooks, this front page is stuck to the inside card and you could very gently separate those or you could stick this page to that one. If you do that though, you do need to make sure you account for the fact that there are page numbers and that first page is numbered as number one. The numbers on each page are written in a pretty basic font with a light gray ink and the final digit of those page numbers is aligned with the same dot grid box on each page. So not the very corner one, but one out from the corner. In terms of the dot grid, this is slightly darker than an Artra and Olive notebook, but still roughly the same size for the dot. And the spacing between each of the dots is half a centimeter or five millimeters. In terms of the page dimensions, we have 13 centimeters across or 26 spaces and 18 and a half centimeters down or 37 spaces. We don't have any specialty features on the pages, whether they be the halves or third marks, either on the sides of the page or in the middle, meaning there's nothing to distract from anything that you want to put on here outside of the dot grid. Getting into our paper features though, and one of the things that impressed me the most about these notebooks is the fact that we have 256 pages in them. 
If we flip all the way to the back, you can see that this is page 254, 55, and then the very last page is 256. Again, stuck to that back cardstock, and we could separate them or stick them together if we wanted to. But that gives you a lot of space in this 8.5 notebook. Most of the notebooks that have 160 GSM paper, like this one that I've used previously, only go up to 192 pages. So you're getting a lot more space in this one. As you can see though, the paper is a bright white, meaning that any pens that you use on these pages, water-based ones in particular, are gonna kind of show up as their true color. In terms of the paper smoothness, it is fairly smooth to the touch, but it isn't that ultra smooth, very buttery paper that you get in some notebooks. At the back of the Libra notebook though, this is where I've done a pen test. For these ones, I've just written out the name of the pens to kind of see how they hold up on the paper. And I also did a smudge test down the bottom, just waiting one second, five, 10 or 30. In terms of the pens themselves, the only one that actually really bled through was the Sharpie, which is to be expected. But my other permanent marker only ghosted and only faintly. That other permanent marker is a bit less inky compared to the Sharpie. And because that Sharpie is just that little bit more juicy, it did mean it put down more ink and that did bleed through. I was actually very impressed to see that the permanent marker didn't bleed through, because in other notebooks it certainly would have. Having a look at the smudge test though, we can see that the 1 and 5 seconds did smudge. We had a very small amount of smudging on the 10 second, but the 30 second was just fine. And this is another thing that really impressed me about these notebooks. Because they've changed up their paper compared to some of their previous designs, these ones hold up very nicely to, you know, having your hand smear over the ink, or at least considerably better than some of the previous ones. With all of that said though, who are these notebooks right for? Well, if you're looking for a notebook that has a heap of pages, then this is a great option, especially if you want one that is still 160 GSM with bright white paper. If you love the idea of having a notebook that is aligned with your star sign, then these are really cute. And if indexing and those page numbers are essential for your journal, then this is really good for that too. If you wanted to check out the full range of Typhosi's notebooks, then there is a link in the description box to their website. And if you wanted to grab something from Typhosi, then you can use code JASHIKURIN10 at checkout for 10% off. We love savings. I'm gonna go put these two in my journal rainbow for safekeeping. But if you are still on the hunt for your perfect notebook, then this playlist is the next one to check out. In that one, we have all of our previous review videos. So click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.